Hey guys, and welcome back to Carrier. When we last left off, we made some progress at last. We found the C card and we've gone down to level five. So let's go through this door. Because we discussed in the last video that I... Hello. I like doors. Who are you? <laughs> I'm a spark. Are you okay? Yeah, so you came to rescue us? You're a little late. The Heimdall's damaged. Up ahead, water's coming in. Okay. It seems it was the captain's decision, but I heard the flooding stopped. Yeah, that's right. He thought we had to sink the Heimdall with all the monsters on board, but only one of the charges went off, and at this rate, the ship will never sink. Is there anything you can do? If these mutants reach land, God help us. Yeah, I know. We have to stop them somehow. Leave it to us. You go to the flight deck. Gotcha. Then I'll go. Oh, yeah, here, take this. I'll see you later, if we're both still alive. Okay, so we've got a disc. Thanks. Be careful. But even if we uh, sink this thing, surely that's just going to unleash the, the cell or the parasite or the genome or whatever into the sea, which maybe that's not a fantastic idea either hmm well let's have a little look so oh hello haven't seen a zed for a little while have we nice just a standard common zombie ah and we have a room here that's locked well let's exterminate oh look at the chunks coming out of his face oh that was savage Okay, so what color keys do we need for this? The emergency lock has been activated. All right, so, I mean, maybe we don't need any keys, per se. Good. We just need to push a button, I'm assuming. All right. Oh, I can hear zombies. Ah, oh, hey. Oh, it's a spike head. All right, let's drop him. Good rinse to bad rubbish. Ah, oh, really? So the... Don't shoot him in the arm. So the range on these guns is really quite poor. Alright, that's those two bleeding out. Right, okay. So it looks like we're going to have another locked door there. But this door up here... Oh, fuck me. Hello, sir. Off with your head. Nice. Got four rounds left. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, so we've got a locked door. And we have an open door. So I'm guessing we are below. So, no, that just leads us out to here. Okay, but we are on the other side. Ah, right, cool. There's definitely something gribbly downstairs in that water. Maybe we shall get to introduce ourselves to it a little bit later. Let's see if we can drain some more of this water out. And why is the water all green? It's a little bit weird. Okay. Anybody in here? Anybody at all? Alright, apparently there's nobody or nothing in here. Cool. Uh, so I guess there's got to be something we can fiddle with. Electrical power board. All power from this board is disconnected. Okay. Power is not being supplied to deck 5. Right. Okay, cool. Um. Right, can we... Can we have a little bit more than that? Is this a puzzle? Is it not a puzzle? Are we meant to do something here? Here we go. The display is blank. It looks broken. You're really not giving me much here, game. Are we meant to do something? Are we missing an item? Okay. Well... Alright. 
And there's nowhere else we can go. I'm guessing there's an item that we need. Uh, electrical supply board. Doesn't actually do anything with that. Electrical supply board. Power is not being supplied to deck five. All power from this board is disconnected. How? Okay, but can we, like, is there anything we can do to fix it? Anything? You're not going to say that there needs to be another board that slots in here, or here's a puzzle to do, or anything at all? Alright, cool story game. Okay. I guess we need to find an electrical power supply board. Which there was one, if I can remember correctly, but that means we've got to go back upstairs was it or oh, yeah back upstairs a security lock with a nine digit code right i'm guessing we don't have the code oh right okay so there was a security power room upstairs but I can't remember exactly where that was. Right. Um, uh, yeah, this room was locked. It's locked. Security has been activated. Oh. In an emergency, deactivate this lock and evacuate. Uh, yeah, cool. But we can't do that now, apparently. Okay. Right, well, in that case, I guess if we look back up onto deck four, where was the security power room? Maintenance room, maybe? Electrical substation was there, so we have to go there and take a board out. That would be my guess. Really? Now, matey boy, uh, there was a technician in that substation that did bang on about sorting out a electrical board at some point. But there wasn't actually anything that we could actually do with an electrical board. So I guess you're meant to come all the way down here, realize you need the board, and then go all the way back. Which, well, I mean, that's certainly early 2000s game design, I suppose. Hmm... Okay. Right, so we are we have to go all the bloody way around. Uh, okay. It's fine. I navigating the ship is fun, honest. It it, it it's good. Uh I mean I don't even know if this is what we're supposed to be doing, but it's the only thing that I can think of right now. Oh, whoever designed the ship is an idiot. They just like went out of their way to create the most messy maze in existence. It's just a maze of ladders and doors. You know, I'm sure if you look at how a modern ship or a modern sub is produced, they they probably lay them out in a fairly easy way. Um, you know, I doubt they're like actual labyrinths. I've never been on a military ship, or a ship of any description, actually. No, I have been. Twat. Obviously, I have been on a ship, but... Uh, nothing to this scale, I guess. They're also quite a lot brighter inside than this ship, and then this ship's taking damage. But I think it's fair to say, like, if you didn't realise that you was playing a game... Um, or if you didn't realise you was playing a game, if you didn't realise you was on a ship, if you loaded a save halfway through, you'd never actually know because it doesn't. This game, like, it doesn't feel like you're in a ship. It just feels like you're in some lab somewhere, some underground facility. Um, yeah, it's mm, it's strange. I think this game started out quite strong with me, but it's. I'm starting to see why 
it didn't... Ah, oh, no, that guy's back again. It didn't quite get the praise that uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica got. Okay. So here's the electrical substation. Concerning the switchboard inspection, after a malfunction in a switchboard in the deck 4 substation, the switchboard has been temporarily deactivated for inspection. During the inspection, if there's a need for emergency switchboard use, contact the Deck 5 substation. The fuse is gone. So... The power to hold 2 has been disconnected. So we need to get a fuse? Question mark. Okay. Okay. So where can we go then? Uh, been everywhere there. Where does... Right, port side elevator. There is actually a corridor there, but... I don't really know how we can get in there. There's a ladder in that room. And that's down to six. Right, I'm going to look this up, guys, because I'm confused at all hell. I guess we need to find a fuse for this one here. Uh, so it's actually nothing to do with the fuse down there, because we it didn't give us the option to take the fuse. Right, one second, guys. I'm going to run around a bit of camera. Maybe look this up on a guide. God damn it. This game is cryptic, yo. Okay, guys. I'm back. So, after spending ages wandering around, fiddling around, farting around, that sort of stuff, uh, I found that there is actually a puzzle to do down in uh, level 5. Uh, to activate the puzzle, you have to click on exactly the right pixel of the panel which is just here apparently panel to adjust the electrical supply board which the frustrating thing about this is this whole panel looks the same you would assume that you have to interact with the middle of it no <laughs> so i tried interacting with the end nothing happened the middle nothing happened so i didn't think about trying the other end because it's uh, hey we got there do you wish to operate the panel? Uh, I... Yes, we... Oh, jeez. Why does this make me think... of... Uh, the water puzzle. Right, so, put out a light... Put out... Oh my god, that's hard to read. Put out a light of switchboard. Set up the rotating numbers of... something. Uh... Well, I'm... I have... Well, I have no idea what I'm doing. Do we have to balance them all? I guess you... Can't... Yeah, I guess you can't quite balance them all. Yeah, okay. So I guess you can't quite balance them all. Right. Um, I mean, if we have been told about how to do this, I don't really know. Um... If we found a... Okay, so number three. You can fill number three up easily. You can fill number two up easily. I think they all take like the same amount of power. Uh... Right. There has to be somewhere here. That explains what we need to do. It just says electrical supply board. 
Power's not being supplied to deck five. Uh, okay, so, I mean, uh, uh, panel to adjust the electrical supply board. Yes. Put out a light of switchboard. Set up the rotating numbers of cryo pump. Uh, maybe... Right, okay, so say we drain all of two. Does that actually change anything? Right. Uh, since power is not being supplied to this board, a fuse can be removed using paint. Really? Okay. So now we've got to go back upstairs? And put that fuse in. Oh man. Like. Oh fuck. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So, why is this floor's power supply on the floor above it, even though it has. Oh, you're a wibbly bastard. Even though. Uh, I don't know. You know, it doesn't matter. It's It's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter how we achieve our goal as long as we achieve our goal. I guess we're going to have enemies uh, all the way now. Stay frosty! Right, we need a nine-digit code for that room, which we don't have. Yeah, this game, I think, could have used a little bit more time in the oven. I think that's fair to say. Um, so... We need, no, we can't go through that one. So, uh, I guess there was no way to use the panel upstairs to do that puzzle because of, you know, plot reasons. Uh. Oh. Jack, where are you? Deck 5, where are you? I'm on Deck 5 too. I'm headed for Deck 4. Can you meet me there? Sure. Be careful. Okay, so I guess we're going to go meet our brother, which is cool, because we haven't seen this guy for ages. He's called Robert. Also, Bob is short for Roger. Uh, short for Roger? Um, Bob is short for Robert, apparently. Um, thanks to Chris for letting me know that one. I had no idea. You know, I guess it's like Dick is short for Richard, um, which is very bizarre <laughs> there is actually a reason behind it and i did actually read the reason behind it but uh <laughs> i can't actually remember english is weird Ooh, shit on a shovel son i guess something's woken all the zeds up oof that was close something's woken all the zeds up you know i can't quite understand the lag in this game it is bizarre because Resident Evil Code Veronica has so much more going on and it's a much better looking game. And that game runs buttery smooth. Although, to be honest, I don't know if Code Veronica was 60 FPS. I'm gonna say it probably wasn't. But then, you know, a solid 30 is way better than a 60 wobble. And the frame rate is literally wobbling all over the place, down into the 40s and the 30s and the 10s. That's pretty bad. This game does that a lot. Uh, it sounds like I'm ragging on this game quite a bit, and I think I am. <laughs> I think it's um, the the stank is is starting to uh, to reveal itself to me. The crust uh, of the game. Uh, it's still good. I'm still enjoying it. it. It's it's a good, fun game. But, yeah, it's crusty, for sure. I can see why it didn't really hold up um, to Resident Evil. And it doesn't appear to be a very short game, either. It's a long game um, of running through corridors. Endless doors and corridors. You know, Cold Fear kind of had a very similar 
vibe to it, but it did mix up the locations a little bit. And the, and the thing with Cold Fear was it wasn't the longest game in the world, so it never really outstayed its welcome. Whereas I don't really get the feeling that we're that far through this game. We haven't met our brother yet. We haven't met that other uh, female operative yet either. No, actually we have met her once or twice, thinking about it. Right, so let's go put the thing in the thing and see what the thing does. Whilst I drink coffee. Ah, coffee. Yeah, see, look, I guess... Yeah, that's all it said. Uh, I guess we couldn't actually do anything there. Attach the fuse, yes. The power to hold two has been turned on. Uh, yay. Hold two. Uh, right, hang on. Haven't we already been in hold two? Weren't we... Trying to um, open doors in this floor. Okay, uh, I guess we're going to hold two. I thought we were trying to open doors in, in our current floor, but uh, or the floor we were on previously, floor five. But, I mean, hey, uh, let's go check out hold two, I suppose. It's difficult to remember where you've been as well, because all of the rooms are like the same it's gray box one gray box two lighter gray box darker gray box um you know they definitely this game would have benefited from um uh varying the environment just a little bit man just you know and um, we've gone the wrong way haven't we yeah we've gone the wrong way because of course we have yeah just vary and mix the environments up just a little bit make it so it's not so confusing i mean maybe that's what they were going for you know back in the day make the game uh, a little bit more confusing you know make the uh, player get turned around a little bit which i can see when you're developing a game especially back then you know design and philosophies were different back then I could imagine that can add to the panic factor where you can't find your way around. But, uh, right. So let's go through here. And I still cannot forgive the fact that we have no, <laughs> no way of choosing the different levels within a floor. That still blows my mind a little bit. Uh, right, so let's go all the way down here. If this is a dead end, I'm going to write a very stern letter to the developers who probably no longer exist, let's be honest. All right, there's a lot of mushrooms around here. Now, this is where we need, well, this is where we turn power onto, which is fine, but have we been in here? This is hold two. We've been in here. The panel for operating the... Oh, ah. Right. I had completely forgotten about that. Okay. Fine. Nameplate obtained. Uh, cool, I guess. What does that give us? Does that give us the code? Uh, nameplate with a nine digit crew number. Right, progress. Okay, it doesn't matter. Everything's all gravy, baby. As long as we're making progress. I mean, I don't know how that researcher got behind the crate and got himself trapped and killed, but you know, sometimes it's best not to think about these things. It's oh, Bob. Bob. Random. Jack. Oh, glad to see that you're okay. Jack, I never expected to see you here. When they were putting together the team, I volunteered. Bob, what's going on here? Well, 
It all started when we brought Ark on board. Ark? What is Ark? I, I heard it was some sort of ancient organism. Keep up, Jack. Was it those monsters? No. Ark is the plant infestation that is spreading throughout the ship. Those monsters are just drones that carry the seeds. Drones. Ah. Yeah, Ark plants its seeds inside humans. Those infested with Ark lose consciousness and attack anything still human, passing on the seed. What? How could such a thing happen? I don't know. <laughs> but it seems that Ark targets humans. We'll have to eliminate it then. How do you stop this Ark? The only thing I can think of is to destroy the engine room and sink the ship. You want to sink the NTA flagship? What are you, nuts? Oh, wow. If Ark reaches land, there will be no going back. Hey, we don't have a choice. Maybe you're right. But let's keep our options open. We have a scientist on board. Maybe he'll find something. It must have a weak point we can use against it. All right, leave the ship to us. You head for the flight deck. No, I can't. I have to find the other guys from my unit. They they must still be alive. Just leave that to us. You have to get out of here. What are you saying? I'm a soldier. I will not let you face this alone. No. But at the very least, I know the ship better than you. Hey, I want to help. All right then, but be careful. I know. I made it this long. Don't worry. Hey, I'm out of here. I have to find the rest of my unit. Be careful. I will contact you later. Okay. Well. Bob, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> I know. When will you stop treating me like a child? Bye. Maybe never. Well, you run like a child. You even said bye like a child. Hey, you know what? Good for you, Bob. Um, right. So let's go back downstairs then so i mean bob's cool and bob wants himself a piece of the action which i can fully understand i uh, hope bob doesn't die because that would kind of be weak source but eh, I, I, I don't think that's gonna happen unless bob is like the final boss where you have to put your brother down and save your wife and children from I don't know, your boss who's gone power mad or something. Right, let's go, Jack. And I'm glad Bob said Jack, because I had forgotten your name. Okay. Good stuff. Because you're such a memorable character. And to be fair, he's not terrible. Uh, you have to uh, take into consideration that this was in the year 2001 or... The year 2000, something like that. You know, 20 freaking years old, which is scary how quick that 20 years has gone. Um, I still maintain the fact that I probably would have really, really enjoyed this back in the day. Having said that, it's not Resident Evil, so, you know. Anyway, we're out of time thereabouts so i'm gonna give this a save when we come back i guess we are going to uh have a little look through that door and hopefully find some more monsters that we can shoot in the face and keep progressing i'm guessing we're gonna have to demo this ship somehow which uh let's be fair that's gonna be a fun time um but we shall see anyway guys thank you very much for watching as always nice.